And we're back. I'm AL22, and this is Let's Play Shine Force 2. Okay, as I told you before, it's at the deal section. And since I killed that Dark Madam with a full inventory, I get the Protector Ring and the Goddess Staff. Yes, 9700, that's fine. Her attack goes up to 54 from a short rod, but whatever. That's more than Howie's. That's more than Chester. In short, that's more than anybody else on the force. That's because it is a weapon that is supposed to be attained near the end of the game, but I like this little secret, so I'm getting it. And I'm also getting the protector ring. But first, let me sell the um, short rod. Protector ring increases defense by five, I think it was. Oh yeah, I was wrong about the gold, the goddess staff. It's not 9800. It's 9700. I said 9800 when I mentioned it offhand last. A couple videos ago. Yeah, five, okay. Who needs it most? I would say Luke needs it most. Alright. Hey! Stop that! Come here! Come here! That's not food. Okay? That's not food. Sorry, oh, my dog is trying to eat something it's not supposed to. And still trying to. I will be right back. Give me a second. She was trying to eat carpet fuzz or whatever you want to call it. If anybody's curious. Um. Yeah. Like I said, oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. I'll let Peter hold it for now. No, I'm not going to equip it because he's not going to use it. And give that to Luke. It also casts on um, boost level 1, which increases your defense by 37%, I think. It might be 25%. I don't know, I forgot. It's by the same amount that attack boosts your strength for. And... I'll be right back. So we'll go back to Creed's. I'm EL22 and I'm pausing the video. Wonderful, ain't it? Again. Okay. So sorry about that. But I accidentally hit the escape key when I was um coming back here, which we're back at Creed's. Um so the screen the um, recording software. Um, the window that's actually recording the game. The indicator went blank. It disappeared. So I had to click record again. So um, it showed up again, which is why it was at an odd place. And then I tried to move it. It didn't move. So I had to repeat the same thing, which is why it happened a second time. But now everything's in order and let's get back in let's get back in gear. Ooh. Good music. Now country the trees here. And healing rain to Slade. Since I have no inten intention to use it just yet, and he's on the battle party. You may go now. Ha ha. Ooh. 
Who's this? Mm. Okay. Serving the life opens the door. Excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Ah, shut up, Peter. <laughs> Thank you, Adler. Huh. Nobody cares what you think, Peter. It's magic. Come on, you see um, people summon freaking genies. Or gen, gens, however, however you pronounce it, sorry. Um, and you're wondering how this guy just magically switched places. Teleported. However you want to say that. But, come on, man. Jeez. Oh, sure. Let's go into a completely unsuspicious door. Oh, look, there's a chest set in there. Hee <laughs> hee. Goodbye. Ah. Uh. Well, oh look, we're on a desk. <clears throat> yes, she were. <laughs> hey, Peter, why don't you try to float off the desk? Let's see how long you stay afloat. On your fat ass. I mean, come on. Don't you remember what it's like pre promoted in with his battle sprite? Ah. He didn't do anything to us. Jeez. Oh, goody. Sounds like he's Putin right there. Parting, Putin, whatever you want to call it. Passing gas. Cutting the cheese. Okay. This right here is technically the most broken character in the whole game. Yep. A mistake. Okay, he says so. Now, that's Karna. That's her name. You know she has a manly voice. She's female. Believe me, I've seen um graphic art of her. Uh, from like a um comic book or something. I don't remember what it was. I have seen it from the original manual. Eric I'll be right back. This guy's name is Eric, just like mine. Okay, as I was saying... Um... This is Eric. A centaur, as you can see. And... He's... It's theorized that he appears in a later game that occurs earlier than this. Chronologically. Because of what it says here, I'm looking for... I was looking for Legendary Sword. Which is not the Force Sword, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's the only two real <laughs> important characters we see here. Chest Army is very strong. It will be good training for you, goody. King Pompey, okay. 
That's right. Floor world. Okay. So, you rule over an army of chess pieces. Okay. My attack power is the best in the army. That's not true, but whatever. Mr. Cree gave me the solid armored body. That's nice. Yeah, that's a knight, obviously. You're a freaking bishop. Come on. Desktop kingdom. Huh. If it's King Pompey's wish, we will accept your challenge. That must mean you're the queen. And there's... Three of you? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the right number of pieces. But there are 16 spaces going this way. I don't know. But yeah, we talked to everybody. Okay, this is also considered a difficult fight. And I've read somewhere that uh, a cheap way to win this with um, Slade is to send Slade up, what was it, six spaces, I think, where he stops on the black square and the king comes down and casts blades on him. Yeah, he stops right there and the king rushes down on him. Oh well. We will not be using that tactic because we're not using Slade. Oh yeah, sorry I forgot to show the enemies. Rook, it's an archer, like a brass gunner. 54 attack, like Sarah. 40 HP, 31 defense. A pawn has 61 attack, 36 HP, and 37 defense. Knights are knights. Rooks are, um, archers. Pawns are soldiers, like the Golem soldier from way back when. Last are knights, obviously. 48 HP, 58 attack, 34 defense, it said? Yeah. Evil Bishop. Wonder why he's evil. Um, 33 HP, 36 MP, 55 attack, 37 defense, heal level 3, and blast level 2. Just like the highest priest. Queen, freeze level 2, 30 HP, 26 MP, 53 attack, 36 defense, just like the dark madam. King, 55 HP, 28 MP, 64 attack, which is more than the pawn, 40 defense. And I think that's it. Yeah. Anyways, let's go. You would think that the queen is more dangerous than the king based on their stats, but that's not necessarily true. Because, um... Yeah, I tend... I always sit here in the bottom right-hand corner. It takes a while. Because you gotta wait it out. Which is why I'm going to be pausing the video after I get into formation. Until some of them get into range. As you can see, they're not moving like normal chess pieces. Um. Yeah. They technically cheat. 
but whatever. Get you right there. I'll put you there. Put you there. You there. And you down here. Can't think of who I want right there. I'm tempted to put Gerhalt there. Oh yeah, um, the Goddess Staff, it casts Aura. Level 2, I believe. This is pretty helpful in this battle. Kiwi! Yeah, I'll go ahead and put Gerhalt there. Okay, I'm information. I will be right back when they're in range. Okay, let's go. Okay, guess what? They're in range. Okay, because of where he stopped, I'm not going to break formation here. First up are two rooks and a... I mean, two pawns and a rook. Let's show off Apollo right now. Since I didn't get a chance last time. Since everybody kept stealing on Kazin's turn. Obviously, Apollo does fire damage. Okay, Gerhalt. Oh, nice. Now, unless it's Rook. Is a total jackass. Gerhalt should survive this. Okay, looks like the rook wasn't a total jackass. That's good to know. Oh, look. Elric, Elric gets the final kill. Go, Elric. Hooray for Elric. Ooh, 50 experience. Level 2. 1 HP, 1 attack, 3 defense, 1 agility. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. Leave Gerhal alone. For everybody's sake, leave him alone. I will move in to attack this guy because range is his friend. I don't want him to have any friends in this fight. Uh, nowhere safe to attack from there. Wait, what's in your inventory? Huh. Powering is not broken. Nah. Apollo! Nice, Kazen. If I remember correctly, the king has the usual resistances to magic that bosses have. So it'd be kind of pointless to bother using Apollo on him. I think he's 50% resistant. It might be 25, but... Oh, level 3. One and everything except for defense, and what she got two points. I think. I think that's what he got, ain't it? Yeah, pretty sure. Let's 
Sarah, heal him up. Oh, she used attack on him. Oh well. Wait. 33. Okay, that's fine. Oh no. No. Finish him. Come on. Hit him again. Ugh. Damn it. Come on. Oh, there goes one of my frontliners. Defenders, whatever you want to call them. All right, finish him off. And it's past the 20 minute mark, which means I'm going to stop this video and um start the next one when they're in range again. I will be right back. Let's see how 22 saying farewell for this episode or part, whichever. Whatever you want to call it, don't really matter to me.